to another informative video, we hope, uh, by the Wood Authority. Um, we have a series of videos on various species and concerns about primarily uh, domestic hardwoods. And uh, today I'd like to carry on a thought that I mentioned in an earlier video that we did on butternut about uh, some disease problems prevalent in the walnut tree family. And um, I kind of came across this when I was researching the uh, previous research I did for butternut and we talked about a disease called the canker disease. Uh, subsequent research I found out that there's also a, 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 a canker disease which afflicts uh, black walnut which is much more prevalent in the United States than it is here in Canada but we do have some walnuts in Western Ontario and that is of a concern. Uh, I'm actually sitting on some Ontario walnut. This is some live edge stock that, uh, that we sell here at the store. Anyway, uh, <coughs> the disease in question is called Thousand Cankers Disease. Kind of sounds like some kind of medieval torture, but it, it really is a disease that affects walnut trees. And it's carried by a small beetle called the walnut twig beetle. And up until recently, uh, there had been some large walnut mortalities in various areas in the southwestern United States, and they weren't really sure what caused them but they found this walnut twig beetle happened to be present. And uh, in further investigation, they found that there is a fungus associated with this beetle that previously was undiscovered. And this fungus attacks the tree and kills the layer underneath the bark and eventually, if the um, beetle um, girdles that particular area then and the fungus infects it then basically the nutrient flow in the tree stops and eventually the tree will die. So that's uh, kind of a serious problem in the United States. We're worried that it might come to Canada. It has been heading north. I just did a bit more research on it and uh, there was nine western states where uh, it had been prevalent and uh, the first instance of it, go back to 1929, was first discovered in New Mexico, uh, also common in Arizona and walnut species that grow in that part of the country. Kind of an interesting thing though, um, on further investigation they found that those particular subspecies of walnut are pretty much immune to the effects and very seldom ever die. Um, then there's about 11 states in the Midwest in the United States where quarantines have been announced and it has been discovered and quarantined in some states close by to us here in Ontario, namely Pennsylvania, Ohio, um, Virginia, Tennessee and um, North Carolina. One recent large infestation occurred in Knoxville, Tennessee. And part of the theory is that uh, perhaps the, the range of this beetle is expanding beyond its normal uh, boundaries and heading further north, perhaps due to factors such as, uh, as uh, global warming. Also drought was thought to be the factor in a lot of these other large uh, walnut mortalities until they found out this fungus was present. So. We're kind of learning new things all the time when it comes to wood. I hope that uh, if you're interested in this topic that you'll come to our website which is www.thewoodauthority.com and uh, I'll try and get a link put up shortly on the website so you can follow up uh, if you want more information. There's quite a bit of information on it and uh, a lot of it is quite recent. Uh, in some subsequent videos, we'll talk about issues such as the emerald ash borer, which is a threat to our ash trees. We're also going to talk about um, the Asian longhorn beetle, which is another uh, pest that we kind of thought we mostly eradicated, but now is 
surfacing in some areas of the state. So uh, here at the Wood Authority, we're we're very conscious of some of these environmental issues, and we take great care to make sure that our wood has been properly processed and kiln dried uh, to help eliminate these problems. Anyway, hope to see you on our website, or you can find us on Facebook, Twitter. Our Twitter account is at the Wood Authority, and uh, we also have uh, information on Kijiji on some of the items we have for sale. Thank you.